What we have here are euonymus leaf notch mods. The male has been attracted by the pheromones of the slender antennaed female, and these are potentially an invasive species. It's hard to see, but behind them, I believe, are some eggs, although I'm going to have to go take, get those confirmed. But this is an EDRR species, an early detected rapid response species that people are keeping an eye for because of the potential invasive plant, invasive uh, status, and because they could hurt the landscape um, tree uh, business as much because of the feed on, on a variety of different landscape plants, especially, of course, euonymus. And I'm trying, I can't quite see a notch on these leaves that I could show you why they call them leaf notch moths. But again, an Asian species, which is now unfortunately establishing themselves on the East Coast. You can see the caterpillars here, the euonymus leaf notch moths, and the scat droppings. You can see the typical notches they take out of the leaves, but when they're in good numbers, they'll just completely defoliate the tree. They seem to prefer the exotic varieties, but will feed on ours, uh, on our native uh, strawberry bush as well, and other versions of, uh, of and, you know, genus Euonymus. Uh, unfortunately, they also are able to survive off of um, bittersweets, both our native and the invasive one, which means that that could help them hop from one plant source to another until they find the one that they prefer, the Euonymus, and finish it off. Uh, this is something then that when you see them and you see the damage that they cause this time of year, and again, this is the very first week of April, um, you should really do everything you can to eliminate them uh, and, and destroy them um, because uh, they, they aren't fed upon much. I think uh, they have a foul smell to them if you handle them. And um, what I believe happens is that they're distasteful. They must uh, they, they must um, actually get some of the stuff that, ha that they, from the plant itself. And that's why the uh, the moths themselves are also distasteful, and they wrap their eggs in the in the hairs from their own bodies to keep them from getting eaten. But it looks like even though there's a ton of them, um, you don't find uh, you 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 don't find lots of animals eating them. Additionally, um, you can sometimes find them because not just their bright colors, but because they're um, they'll be hanging from threads and so forth. If you see damage like this with the notches and so forth all through the leaves. Then turn them over because again, this is the way that you would normally see it. They're underneath the leaf, so they get cover from predators as well as from rain. But when you turn the leaf over, there they are. And there can be hundreds of them completely defoliate your plants. The Euonymus leaf botcher, uh, caterpillar and moth, is, uh, is something that we need to be very careful about and try to destroy before it gets a real foothold in many of our areas.